standard comps for the two teams, except for maybe the Evelyn. Yeah. We can talk about that in game, because obviously now you guys need to go to Twitter. Yeah, tell us, what do you think? Who's going to keep their streak alive? Tweet Emmett and then try and use these big airy oldies from like Evelyn and, and Kenneth to zone. But now Diamond is being caught out. to stay alive first. Yeah, they're going to get away from it just for a moment, but they are in a little bit of trouble. So Teleport comes in to save the day. Kabushart moves in on Oda Wamne. They've got a lot of damage, and it looks like that is going to be first blood. It goes Whoa, to Kabushart, like. but wait, there we go. He's going to throw down his own ultimate as Ryu. Missed the charm, but still finds the damage. Lulex answers with a kill onto Cabo Shard. Now Diamond in hot pursuit of both. Can he pick them up with a hate no spike? Manner. Flag and Dragon. And there's no response from Gambit's side. They're the ones who've been sitting back in the lane. Let's see if they can do anything to Yanin, though. Yep, he's trying to move away from all the skill shots. Keep However, the teleport in the back, they know this is happening. Lantern immediately. Zoda Wamne comes, the box is up. Here comes Kasing as well. Eddie is going to be in some trouble, but Kabushart's moving forward for Yarnin. The heal is baited out. He takes a Zanya's Hourglass as the tormented soil expires and they collapse on him. Odawamne picking that kill. Despite him not being spotted, I think, by H2K. Well, you invest so many resources and players now on one side of the map that you will always lose on the other side. And H2K saying, fair enough, you want to fight one versus two, you're not even getting a kill. We take a free dragon for ourselves, we push the bottom lane, we push the mid lane. He might not be able to do it. Himself. Oh, Edward goes really far for a moment, completes his windup, but he does get taken down. Here comes Kabushar with the Maelstrom in the side of H2K. Do they have the damage to finish a kill? They do. It's Diamond picking up Lulex. Odawamne, oh so oh, gonna get Spinoy, but he's he getting it. chunked away. Kabushar manages to pick up a kill. It's a two for two. The top and jungle for an AD carry and support, and a mid goes down as well. Betsy falling, a double kill for Hyarnin. As to basically regroup, because you don't want Betsy to flying around on a Lulu. No, she needs to be with your carry. So as soon as he was out of position, Gambit were unable to take the fight. Third dragon, yeah. Tank in front line. And you know that your goal, basically, in team fights is just to take down these tanks. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I'm teleporting yeah, in. There's the flank. He's going to get hit by the box. However, Edward is the one who's going oh so low. Betsy caught with the dark binding, and it's going to be Edward going down. Betsy in some trouble on the chase. The rest of H2K collapse around him, and another double kill goes over to Hyarnin. And, and like clockwork, they move back to Maokai. Gambit push off the mid lane. There was a ward behind them. Oh, combo shot. Oh, and he's caught up the combo. Ryu, can he pick? The rest of it, they're going to connect at the very end in Ryu, the last charge of the Spirit Rush. And now it's going to be Baron time. Can Diamond... But they're not even giving him an opportunity. Kasing zoning away. He's going to go around the long side. Pinoy is here as well. But this Baron, it looks like it's going down. That is going to be taken out by Lulex. Diamond never had a chance for the steal. And a Baron picked up by H2K. But now it's time to fight. Can they pick a kill? Pinoy gets one. Knocks back into the team for a double kill. Odawande now in the front. But H2K have forsaken him as Pinoy rocket jumps his way forward. He's got his eyes set on a triple. And Eddie wants to give it to him. The play, the twisted advance. One more shot, and Pinoy picks up another. And that really is the gamut we know right here. You lose the Baron. Eight. This flank right now. Oh, they throw down the Tormented Soil. That will reveal him. But now, does he have enough damage? No, not nearly to do anything to anyone. The rest of Gambit was not there just yet. Oda Wamne, though, is looking to start the fight. The box is down. Edward's going to flash away. Kabuchar zoning away the rest of the team. They're looking to pick off Oda Wamne, but Ryo coming to the rescue. There is going to be the Zanya's Hourglass. Lulix catching the rest of the members off guard. Lulix going so low, but not going down. Pinoy hopping, but he's not going to be able to get away as he was caught in the dark, finding a shutdown. Going over to Ryo. It's at three. Four. He was popped from Kabuchar. Everyone just backed away. Backed away from the ulti, ran out, then they re-engaged in. Obviously, we're waiting for Ryu as well, coming from that top lane. Gambit trying to make a... Yeah, Lulix is a little bit low. He's got to know something's up because there is a lot of chase coming from Betsy. Oh, they may not even need it. Here we go. Here comes Diamond as he's revealed. Betsy's going to get the kill. The hate spike's helping out. Now they look for Hyarn and he's turned into a cupcake and he is going to Valkyrie his way to safety. But those double buffs, oh, Pokey yeah, Casey, the charm. Diamond is caught. The damage is so real and Ryu trying to make the play. Oh, he's caught though. And they should be able to dish more damage back. But now they're looking for Betsy. In comes Pinoy, just like clockwork. And he's so low, but he's staying alive. Ryu you going down what is going on this is the craziest skirmish we've seen in a while and here comes Pinoy Odawamne twisted advance back onto him and it just keeps going do they have the damage to take him out yes they do well. Pinoy kaboom man that's all you can I mean, say the team would never take and well, winning them. makes it work yeah now let's see if they can secure this dragon up it's gonna be a close one it's oh. actually stolen away by Lulex so 
The Dragon, they had a chance to pick up. H2K man for just a moment. Oh, oh. and maybe not, because Edward is going to wander too far forward. Sticks his nose out, gets charmed, and taken down another tower. They look for the inhib. Gambit, they want to answer back, but it's going to be so hard in this 4v5. Inhibitor number two now. It looks like it's going down, courtesy of Hyarn and, and the rest of H2K. H2K, Kabajad is sitting in the top lane farming. They're going to see him teleport because the minions keep going in. He's backing away here. Let's see what he can do. He has home guards. He wants to proc that home guard first. Not in time. Baron is down. Yeah, Baron is. Well, there's no pink wards from H2K, so they won't be able to spot Diamond unless they had one place before. They did. They pinked him out. So they know he's there. They had one down in the bush near the Raptor. So nice little setup for them. Really been good at spotting the flank every single time. Not yeah, he hasn't been able to do what he wants. Come in. I mean, it's still great in the kill participation when they do get the fights that they want, but they've just not been able to do much. The inhibitor, it goes in again. I feel like Gambit are running out of time. Textbook fashion, let's see if they can do it. That tower, it's going down oh so quick. Gambit is in some trouble. 10,000 gold down at 38 minutes. Can they play the hero? Here we go, Kabushard finding Odawamne. Lulex is bound by Diamond, but they're getting chunked out by the rocket damage from the Corky. In comes Lulex, exhausted immediately, jumps in for a second win. Odawamne picks Benoit. Gambit, they're falling apart. H2K, they're chasing them all the way back to the fountain. Betsy just barely staying alive as Ryu is able to push them back. One Nexus turret goes down, the other one's gonna follow, and it looks like H2K, they've done it. They've snapped Gambit Gaming's win streak. They've taken them out and extend their own to seven in a row. GG, well played as the Nexus falls. Miles all around for H2K, of course. Fantastic game from them, honestly. Early game, the teleports from Omni were great. They knew exactly what Gambit were doing. They got these early outer turrets. They got all the dragons, and all the barons. And overall, textbook game from H2K. They know exactly which objectives to focus, when to push, how to push. We did see Gambit try. Had some of these guerrilla warfare team fights where they like, Chase you around. Oh, because they getting blocked by the camera. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, they're, they got to be happy with that. So few mistakes. And the ones that they did, the fights that they did lose, you can't really chalk that up to anything but just Gambit had the element of surprise. Yes. But exactly. they were able to completely shut down the Evelyn where it counted when they were trying to push. You see Diamond just a little pensive after that game. They tried something out. I mean, Credit to him, the scientific process. Not every jungler you try is going to work, but he's certainly running the gamut. Right, so for, I mean, for, the, for Diamond here, 100% kill participation, 2 kills, 8 assists, 10 kills total for Gambit. So you can't really fault him for his mid to late game performance, but everything just doesn't offer you that much early on. And that was the problem for, for Gambit. He had had a fairly weak early game setup, especially with the Tristana as well, who needs...